Flu cases are on the rise in Arizona. So far this season, one child has died from the virus. Nationally, the virus has killed 20 infants and kids, according to new numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks tonight showing us the best ways to protect yourself and your family. I'm a pulmonary and critical care physician by training um, and the chief quality officer at Honor Health. Chief medical officer for Honor Health Thompson Peak, Dr. Nina Shaw has been in the medical field for 15 years. Unfortunately, Flu cases are spiking? Yes, they're spiking in Maricopa County, they're spiking all across the country, and not only are flu rates spiking, hospitalizations are spiking as well. And she has the alarming numbers to back it up. Nationally? Over 20,000 patients die every year from the flu. Last year it was higher than that. And so, um, you know, the flu is real, the flu can be deadly. And with those cases come the dreadful symptoms. Fever, cough, body aches. Here in Arizona, state health department stats show 4,280 flu cases were reported in the week ending December 30th. That's a 25% increase over the prior week. And the season total of 21,570 flu cases through December 30th is a 173% increase over the five season average for the same time period. The rates are still rising and I think we have a little bit of a later season, so we, we won't know until later this year. Dr. Shaw says if you get the flu, stay home because it's highly contagious. And typically, the symptoms last for about three to eight days. Thankfully, there are helpful tools to either prevent the flu or to get tested if you think you have the flu to treat it. And when you treat for the flu, you can reduce the chances of complications. Which is why it's so important to stay hydrated and keep your guard up. Washing your hands a lot, avoiding other sick people. Another thing Dr. Shaw recommends, getting a flu shot, something her family gets every year. It's just so important to us that our children are well protected against the flu so that, you know, they don't pass illnesses on. While they've seen a little sickness this year, thankfully, everyone is healthy now. And I like to think that it's because all of us got the flu vaccine and so it was less severe and pretty much everyone got better quickly. In Scottsdale, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Some good advice there, Trisha. Thank you. Dr. Shaw says it's too late. To, it says it's not too late to get the flu shot if you are battling the virus or just getting over it. She says you may want to wait just a few months after you're symptom free so it's most effective to get it. She says it's also safe to get the flu and COVID vaccines at the same time.